Good day and welcome to Arise. And thank you again for sharing this moment with me. And today's topic is Love Your Dream. And I want to share with you something very, very quickly about my personal life. When I was 21 years old, I believed in my heart that God, the dream that God birthed in my heart, I believed the timing was right. And I prayed and I asked God, I really want to travel. I really want to do what I feel in my heart to do that you've put into my heart. And I prayed about it. And lo and behold, at the right season, God started opening doors for me. And God opened doors that blew my mind. Things happened for me. You know why? Because I prayed, I had a word from God, and God opened the doors. So I want to talk to you today that's got a dream, that's got a desire, that's got a word from God. Because the key about faith is faith moves with a word from God. The Bible also says in Hebrews 11 that it is impossible to please God without faith. But the faith that God is talking about is, the, is that thing. It's, it's, it's massive. You know when, when you're supposed to move in something, it takes everything that you have within you to take that step in faith. But the only way you're going to make it is when you get a direct word of God for your situation. Because let me tell you something, the thing that's going to back your faith is the word of God. Because in the process, many people are going to laugh at you. They're going to walk away from you. They're going to say, no, you're crazy. But the only thing that's going to sustain you in the process is the word that you heard from God. And I want to tell you, in my spirit, while I was preparing for this message, I really felt the stirring of the Holy Spirit saying that there's somebody somewhere that is busy or dreaming to have his own house and he wants to build his own house, but he's not sure, what am I supposed to do? Let me tell you something. The first thing that you do, get on your knees and ask God for a word. Because it is the word that will sustain you through the winter season, that will sustain you through the summer season. I also feel in my heart that there is somebody that is at the age of 40 and you want to go back to school. You want to study again. And people, people that you want to say, yes, that's the right thing to do and we support you. That very people is laughing at you. Let me tell you something. Faith is a personal thing. It's between you and God. Many people will not believe what you are saying. Many people will not buy into what you are saying. But here's the key about it. It's not what people think. It's not what people say. It's what God said about your future. It's about what God said pertaining and sustaining your life. It is the word of God that, is, that he released into your life. I want to read you Hebrews 12 verse 11. And here is, it starts amazingly. It says, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of my faith. You know what? Jesus is the beginning and the end of the faith that you have. Jesus is the beginning and the end of the dream that you have. It may look impossible. Let me tell you something. If you are a pastor called by God and you know you are called by God and you feel in your heart that you need to build a house for the Lord to, to, to visit you, let me tell you something. When you build, God will bring the people. Faith, we as believers, we move into, we move where we cannot see and that is called faith. The world is saying, seeing is believing. But the people of God say, believing is seeing. And we need to believe because you know what? Faith is something that has been birthed in my spirit. I see something happen before it has happened. I see myself getting the diploma. I see myself getting the degree. I see myself traveling. If you want to travel, but you, should, but you say, Chantal, I don't have anything. Let me tell you something. I have got a personal encounter with God. Once you begin to move, get your visa, Get your, your, your cases, get, your, get everything in order and you will see how God begins to move. Your work needs faith and your faith needs work. We cannot please God without faith. Get the word from God because it's the word of God that's going to sustain you through this journey. May the Lord bless you. Thank you. Until next time.